video, we're going to take a look at how you can set a custom responsive breakpoint for Ubermenu. So the breakpoint is the horizontal viewport width at which the menu switches from the desktop mode to the mobile mode. By default, Ubermenu's breakpoint is 959 pixels. So if we take the window and resize it, you can watch the viewport size down in the lower right. Once we get down to 960 pixels, you'll see it's still a desktop menu. And if we go one pixel lower, you'll see it's at 959 pixels, it becomes the mobile menu. And then we toggle it this way, and below 480 pixels, it drops to a single column, right? Now this value is chosen for a reason. 960 pixels is historically the width of a uh, normal sized website, and it's also a good number for tablets. And so that means that for most tablets at least, in horizontal mode, you'll still get a full width desktop style menu like this. And when you rotate the tablet into portrait mode, you'll get a collapsed menu. Furthermore, 960 pixels is a relatively standard uh, breakpoint. Most themes are going to break somewhere around there or in that vicinity because most themes are based on a grid system and most grid systems tend to break and go down into a responsive mobile layout at around 960 pixels. However, you may want to be able to set a custom breakpoint for a variety of reasons. Um, say your menu's breakpoint is higher and you want your responsive menu to appear earlier uh, to be in line with that layout or say perhaps you want you don't have a uh, you don't have a lot of top level menu items so they can fit on a vertically oriented tablet and say you want the desktop menu to appear there you might want to reduce your breakpoint to somewhere around 700 pixels so that the uh, the portrait oriented tablet will display a desktop menu instead of a responsive menu. So to change, to set a custom breakpoint, we'll go into the Uber menu control panel and we'll go under general settings. So this is a setting that's going to be global for all your menus. All the menus will have the same breakpoint. All your Uber menus at least will have the same breakpoint. So we'll go down to responsive and mobile under general settings and you'll see this responsive breakpoint setting. As you can see, it's 959 by default, so if you want to leave it at that, you don't need to put anything here. But let's say we want to change it to 700 pixels, so we'll put 700 here and save our settings. Now we can go back to the front end and let's test our site again. You see, last time it collapsed at 960, but you can see now we're at 892 and we still have a desktop menu, 800 and we still have a desktop menu. And now we'll get all the way down to 690, and now it's collapsed. So here we are at 705 desktop menu, and 700 is where we set our breakpoint, so that's where it collapses into a mobile menu. All right, so that's a simple way to be able to customize the breakpoint, and that's the point at which your desktop menu turns into a mobile menu.